Hey Bridge Nation, AJ Rich here, and welcome back to an Attack on Titan Reaction Season 3, Episode 12. We're at the uh, middle route, the end of uh, Part 1. The last episode of Part 1 here, I am ready, I am prepared. Um, I, <laughs> I don't know if my soul is just... I, I, I want to find out so many things, and I'm glad I... Uh, I it was mentioned... Uh, I, I think somebody mentioned that, like, the... Um, the time between part one and part two has like had a gap. So you guys have to wait in between those, but I don't have to wait. I can go immediately through. So I am definitely happy about that. I don't have to watch these weekly or anything. That's a benefit for sure. Um, because I don't know how I would be able to, in some of these parts, like my God on some, some of these episodes, it would like in cliffhangers and stuff would have freaking slaughtered my brain to have to wait that long. Um, yeah, I, we got the backstory of the instructor, the, person that you know trained Aaron for three years uh Keith and how he knows Aaron's dad and the the background with that and uh he knew Aaron's dad and the mom and he didn't forget about any of this he knows all this so but he didn't tell Aaron he was actually even trying to sabotage Aaron um he might have possibly been a little jealous of um of the dad and just him being special he's never felt special and I know I know there's a lot, you know, everything seems pointless and I, uh, a lot of people, I mean, even in the real world, you, sometimes you don't feel, you know, don't feel special. That's just life. Um, but in his case, it was just to an extreme and uh, he just wanted to do, you know, something different. He couldn't just he disliked people that just kind of live their day by day and not caring. You could see the disgust when he was talking to Aaron's mom um, <clears throat> about that stuff. And uh, yeah, I. I mean, I, I understand how he's feel how he felt there, but it's good that he was able to get that information finally now. But we are finally, uh, they're talking about going to Wall Maria and finally getting to that. I'm I'm excited. It feels like an eternity since we have been at that. Like they've mentioned this. Uh, it's like, oh, okay, now I remember. Oh, Wall Maria exists. What <laughs> season? What I mean. Like we haven't seen any of that forever. So I, I'm glad I'm glad uh, at least it's been mentioned again. Um, yeah, no, I'm ex I'm excited. I'm going to go straight through here because I, I can't wait. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe, smash that like button. Uh, go follow me on Twitter at AJ Rich one, two, three, as well as my Patreon, patreon.com slash AJ Rich one, two, three for full reactions and early releases. I do appreciate that helps me make content and, uh, Put this stuff out and gives me the time to do it so uh feel free to check that out and i uh, let's go ahead and start that they could use at their own forgot about that hmm. but that means like anybody could use it any time wouldn't you have to be really yeah Probably keep it with Levi, right? Yep. Makes sense. これを使用する際はどんな状況かが分かるのか任せてもいいか。お前の夢ってのが叶ったらその後はどうする。うん。それは分からない。叶えてみないことには。<笑> I just think that's I think that just be locked up. It seems like a bad bad thing to hold on to. Mm-hmm.でもその三人と違うのは壁の中の人類に協力的だったってこと. But he'd also mm, but he'd also lost his memory. お父さんが調査兵隊に入りたいと言った十歳の息子に見せたかった家の地下室。Finally, we need. What is it? <laughs> like, like, what is it exactly? See, it do doesn't that look like him? It's got. It looks like his dad. What could it be, though? Like, what could be... What would he be working on? That must mean he got some of his memories back, or... Yeah, 
何より防衛策の確立が先だと思うんだその後は脅威の排除だ壁の外にはどうしても我々を巨人に食わせたいと思っているだからさっき言った通りだ地下室に行った後に考えよう So they're really determined to go there. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. 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 I'm not sure what I'm He has to be there. Saxon was spiced to come to Sono Leo, my Katabata, I guess it's kind of true. So they got each man may work on a state. Ning and he took you. So they got each man he sent a no hazda. I want his brain and his thought process, but each of them on a success. Oh, he like sees through him or something. They've been they've been together for so long. <laughs> I mean, he knows it's right, for sure. But this is the truth. When the truth becomes clear, I can't wait. I want to know what the heck is going on. Yes, I can't wait. I want to know what the heck is going on. So, I mean, you can't really stop him, can you? I mean, you could physically, I guess, but. That's what he's been doing this whole time is trusting him and trusting his judgment. Uh, all right. Information available for public disclosure. Meat. Uh, after the fall of Walmaria, there was a dramatic decrease in food production. Livestock in particular suffered due to requiring plentiful land. As a result, meat became expensive and occasions to eat it are scarce. That's it. And, okay, it's kind of a random fact, but um, but yeah, I mean, food food is a lot less obviously since that point. <laughs> They're not used to eating it. <laughs> it's scarce, so they're actually yeah. <laughs> meat is sacred. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're not gonna be able to take her away from that. <laughs> <laughs> she goes crazy. God damn. <laughs> yeah, you can't put Sasha around meat at all. <laughs> Yep, that's when all shit, shit happened. And it was him the whole time. I mean, yeah, the, the passage of time has not gone fast at all in the show. Oh, now he's finally picking a fight back. Okay. <laughs> it's like old times. <laughs> it's all back. <laughs> it all comes back to this. <laughs> That's true. He can't. He won't. He wouldn't be able to win. <laughs> <laughs> the one time Mikasa won't step in. <laughs> oh! Just the three of them again. Yeah, it seemed like he wasn't his old self recently. They've really grown up, all of them. In four months. 
Yeah, I mean, you have to make yourself special. You, you find that one thing or find something that you can do and look forward. I mean, he's improved, obviously. They've all, like, they've all grown up. I mean, he's not there anymore, unfortunately. I mean, it's that's impossible. You have to move forward. Oh, yeah. The books that he read. Oh, yeah, they can find... I mean, it's going to take some work to be able to get that far, though. Yeah, they were talking about that as little kids, but... Mm, shit. Wait, so... The episode's almost over. Is there not enough time? Are they not gonna fight? Now they all look at the scouts as heroes compared to how they used to. Way different. <laughs> They're actually getting a positive send off. <laughs> I'm sure Irwin loves this. <laughs> uh. All the positivity. I like it. Oh, man. No more break. Let's do this. Holy shit. Hmm? What? Uh, there's Reiner, and, uh, who's that standing next to Reiner? That's not Berthold, is it? Was that Berthold? That didn't even look like but Who was that? You guys had to wait for- Oh! What the fuck? What is happening? What the fuck? What the fuck is this? Am I having a fucking heart attack? What? Levi and- What the fuck is- is this the future? What is going on? Oh. Did it all go wrong? What did that? Did everything fuck up? What the fuck was that? What was that? Everything goes fucking wrong. There's like a million freaking flashes there. I don't even. I don't even know what to decipher. It. Fe I felt like I was like. <laughs> I felt like I was like watching the future. So this is like um the way you guys explained it was like part 1 and part 2 were like really far apart, right? So this is like is this something that's going to happen or is this like a um like some type of illusion? What I what the fuck? So it's not even the part, like, you know what the creepiest thing is? It's not even the part with Aaron and, um, it's obviously Aaron did something or something happened. If you hit Aaron or Mikasa is going to fight. So something happened there, like where something went wrong. Obviously something went wrong. Um, if Levi is like attacking Aaron, which we haven't seen this whole time, something fucked up, something happened. Um, but there was like, oh my God, it felt like, uh, that scared the living shit out of me. Oh my god, I was not expecting. I'm, I'm not much of a horror guy. I, I get scared every once in a while, and the no, I have my, I have my headphones on blast. So when it did that noise and like it just popped up like creepily, and it showed like, it showed like death and like a bunch of I, I don't even know if I want to decipher it because like, 
I, I'm actually a little afraid to look because if this is stuff that's going to happen, I'd rather just watch it organically. But if it's just if it, but it's obviously it's shown. So like that the fuck I don't even know I don't even know like is it or is it just to mind fuck us? Is that what this was? It was literally them trying to fuck our mind. Like I don't even know. Oh my! I my my head is like twisted right now because literally these last few episodes have been like everyone's you know everyone's hunky dory and happy again and like we're gonna finally get to wall maria and then now it's looking like that it's everything's gonna go to total shit but oh man it, i i don't holy crap uh, so if if uh what i worst case scenarios like they aaron must for well, let's think. Of, OK, so let's think of Levi and his personality. So Levi going and turning on Aaron, Aaron must have must have done something, made a decision that didn't go with Levi and what like and what happened. That's that's what it seems like to me. It, it feels like he must have made did, did something that like that wouldn't like Levi wouldn't agree with because that's the only way he does that. And then Mikasa is always on Aaron's side. So Mikasa is always going to back him up. Um, wow. I mean, we have a whole nother part. We have what? 12 episodes still. Um, this is the, you know, the, this is the end of the first half, but holy sh holy shit. I, I, oh my God, I, that was a fucking freak. That was a freak show. I'm, I really like, it seemed like there was a lot going on there. It was like, it was like those flashbacks, uh, like those, the things we've seen through the entire series where it's showing like things that are happening. Um, it did that to us though. It did it as, as the audience, it did that to us. It's like, we were seeing that. That's what that felt like right there. It was like, what the fuck, why am I seeing this? What is going on? <laughs> oh my God. Oh man. That gives, uh, you're going to make me do this. Attack on Titan. I was supposed to be done for the day, the day and you're going to make me continue binging. I, I did. Oh, my God. I think I have to continue. I think I have to continue. I got to get some dinner. But like I got I maybe I'll go eat dinner and then go. I like I want to continue right now. I'm starving, though. Um. Wow. Because if you, you know, it's really funny, like everything seems like good. Like, how does it turn like that? Because everyone's like uh, supporting the scouts now and everybody supports Historia as the queen. Um, but uh, the thing I did want to talk about, that last thing was um, Reiner uh, or it shows Reiner on the wall or on a wall or something standing somewhere. But it, there's another guy there. And I was like, who who is that? I like, I don't, I'm going to have to look at images. I'm going to have to, um, shit. Can I, I kind of want to look, I kind of want to look, hold on. I just want to look at the image. Cause I have a suspicion. Like I have a general suspicion of who that was, but I don't know how it, I, I want to look at the picture before I say that. Um, okay. Okay. So Okay, okay, now that I'm looking at this now, I'm not going to show it on the screen, but I now that I'm looking at this image, it shows Reiner there. Um, this looks like, okay, so I, we saw the scene and I, you know, I had done a rewatch. Um, we saw that scene of, um, of Reiner, um, you know, what happened with Reiner and his, uh, the person that was with him in Berthold and he got uh, eaten. Uh, he got eaten by Ymir. That looks like an older version of that guy. That's the only thing I can tell from this image. Like, but how this happens, I don't, I don't understand because, okay, the, the thing, we know that when you, uh, you get eaten, you know, you've gotten eaten or whatever, you could, um, you know, people get eaten. Does that, you know, we know that they could, um, well, you got eat. No, but he got eight though. Ymir ate him. So does did he turn into a regular Titan by being eaten, right? Uh but that doesn't that doesn't make sense. No, that doesn't make any sense because that's not how you turn into a Titan. I don't fuck it. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I'm sorry guys. I'm going on a soapbox here. But that that looks like 
that guy we saw we saw that flashback like four times so that's the only and i've t i told you guys this before i have a really like visually i have a decent memory when it comes to visual facts a little bit harder at to, to retain it add but visually i can like figure i can like remember faces really well and i'm like mm, that's gotta be it's if not it's somebody that hasn't been introduced but i'm gonna man i'm gonna have to look if I look like an idiot, whatever, I'm going to have to look at that flashback scene, which I can't find right now. But like, I, I, I don't know. That's I, I wonder how that happened. Does it like does that mean like you mean like. Uh, OK, theories. Um, if you have maybe if you have special abilities already and you get eaten, right. Um, turn in, you know, uh. You know, Ymir turned back into a human, right? Um, so does that mean that he turned into a Titan because he got eaten? And then maybe he ended up eating her and got it back? Um, or, like, he ended up... He wasn't eaten the whole time and got, and got like, somehow back? Or this is some random stranger that hasn't been shown yet? Um... Like, I, I don't fucking know. I'm sorry. This is a man. There's so many possibilities with this show. I, I, I can't help when I think of something like I'm trying to think out loud here. Um, so I, I, there's so many concepts, but that was probably with the exception of that last scene there that that was like probably the most like confusing part of it. Because remember, at the end of season two, we got that thing, and now we finally got shown the, you know, the Beast Titan being, uh, you know, control, you know, the Beast Titan is a human or is somebody and he can talk or whatever. But like, wow, the concepts and the, the uh, you know, the the possibilities are endless. I can't wait to continue. I'm probably going to continue binging. Um, <laughs> thank you guys for being here this whole time. Thank you for watching the show with me. I appreciate it so much. Uh, if you have not subscribed yet, subscribe, uh, subscribe, 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 smash that like button. Go follow me on Twitter at AJRich123 as well as my Patreon, patreon.com slash AJRich123. If you want to watch uh, the first next few episodes already or you want to see the full reactions of these uh, because I can only put so much in here and you, do, you guys do miss a ton here on YouTube, uh, go check that out. Um, that helps me, makes it so I can make this content faster and get more stuff out. Uh, gives allows me to have the time to do it. And seriously, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.